look how delicious this thing looks. Here is this big chair. You can tell he's mine because we both like the beach. <laughs> Cash started um, limping. Watch, that's poison ivy right there. <laughs> Or actually, I should say afternoon. We are at Honeymoon Island. It is a beautiful day in Florida. It's probably like 70 degrees here, which is very unusual for this time. It's probably the last cool front we're gonna have come through for the year. So if you can see, the beach is behind us. It is a beautiful day, even though it's a little chilly. So we're just gonna check this place out. Like I said, we have never been here before. So we're just gonna walk around and see what's all is here. Here is this big chair that they just have sitting here. It's pretty cool. So I think on this map, we're over here by this little South Pavilion area. And over here is a pet beach. We wanna check that out. So Cash can play a little bit with the other doggies. So this is a pet friendly, they do have a pet friendly area just for pets then they have, you know, a regular beach. Regular beach for other us humans. And then over here on this side, I think it was some sort of nat uh, scenic nature uh, observation uh, center. Oh, there it is right there on the map. And then I think there's trails, nature trails back here in this area. We're gonna try to explore a little bit. So it looks like you can rent some stuff here as well. It looks like they have like, um, like the little buggies and stuff you can rent. So that's kind of cool, and bikes. And look at this view. Beautiful. And it is rough, probably because it, it is, ra it's not raining, but it's very windy here today. Here's a better view of the ocean. It is rough. So here is the pet beach we are walking onto. So you have to keep your pets on a leash at all times. And they also have, whoop, where you can get some pet bags. If you didn't bring any, they have them here. So, all right, let's keep walking. Let's see what they have down here. It's like you're in a little nature trail. Look at him, look how excited he is. Mm -hmm. Pick it up, don't pass it up. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to pick this one up. Oh, he's already going. So pretty. <laughs> it's a little chilly. If you heard me just scream in the camera, it was because I was walking at the edge of the water line <laughs> and the water came up and it was cold. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was cold. They have like little areas set up on the beach and have a picnic or, you know, just suntan with your animals. So it's kind of nice. And this beach just keeps going and going and going. So it's a very long beach. He's mine because we both like the beach. Look at this. Even though he doesn't really like the water, but he loves it. See, this just goes on and on and on. I wish we would have brought our beach chairs. This would have been perfect just to sit here, have a picnic. So we'll definitely come back and do that. That's on my list of things to do. Oh, well, look, here comes a boat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's way over in there. So I don't know if you can see it, but over there, that is actual Caladesi Island. You have to usually get there by boat or by a ferry to get there. You can't just walk over there, but that is another island over there. I'm really kicking myself for not bringing any beach chairs. And this little guy, he's loving it. 
he doesn't usually go in the water and he's like literally walked right up to this shoreline and look at him comes a boat flying through here so now we are going to drive a little further down and try to find the trails so they also have like a little playground here that you can um, play with your kids out here and we're actually going to walk out to the nature um, thing that's right next to this so so we're over here and it looks like it lasts the trail lasts for a mile all the way up to eagle's nest and i don't remember last time i came here but it might see the beach a little area of the island that not uh, it's not that populated but there's also all kinds of interesting wildlife out here, all kinds of birds tur and turtles. Cash started um, limping. We didn't know what was going on, but he had like a sand spur he in his paw. Dial 911. So we were. <laughs> in the Coast Guard. Yeah, he had a sand spur. I pulled it out and then I screamed because then it pinged me or pricked me. So. Yeah, I didn't bring the proper shoes for this because we weren't really planning on doing this today. So I don't know how long we're going to be out here. What? That's poison ivy right there. How do you know it was poison ivy? I was looking at the picture and the picture gave you what that looked like. <laughs> here, he is, here he is automatically assuming. You don't recognize the leaves. <laughs> and look, they even have little pet bags you can get. That's good. That's comforting because we weren't sure that it was pet friendly. Yeah, oh, I forgot to even look. <laughs> kind of rolled the dice on that one. So we're just going to walk this for a few minutes and turn around. Probably go get some food somewhere. So we are now in Dunedin at this place called the Fish Camp. Oh no, wait. Hog Island Fish Camp. Look at all this yumminess. So they do have seasonal cocktails and I just ordered the key lime colada. Key lime rum, coconut rum, OJ, and cream. And then these are all their bottled beers that they have. And how cute is this? They have a dog menu. So you know that we can't go somewhere and not stop for food. Well then I saw this key lime colada on the menu. Look how delicious this thing looks. Look at that. Mm. You definitely get the cream and the lime. You definitely get that. You can taste the rum. It tastes kind of like a pina colada, but instead of the coconut, you're getting a lime. But it's the same consistency with the I mean, it's not frozen, but it's very creamy, like a pina colada. And they even have the graham cracker crumbs on the side, like a key lime pie. Yeah, we're at the Hog Island Fish Camp. And they even have a dog menu. So we got the fried shrimp, collard greens, cocktail, tartar, and french fries. So let's start with the collard greens. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of crisp film, which is even better. Let's try a shrimp. Um, stick it in the stick it in the tartars, or the cocktail. They're not like a greasy fried. They're like a crispy fried, but they don't. You can't taste all the grease, so they're really good. I would definitely recommend them. That's definitely good. You don't see you don't see any of the grease. It's just like a breading, but you don't really see grease on them. So they're not like saturated, like soggy. But, I mean, let's try a French fry. These are hand cut fries. I'm gonna dip them in the tartar sauce. They're just like regular fries. Nothing special about them, but they're good. I would definitely get this again though. This normally comes with slaw, but I ordered it with the collard greens. And this is what the slaw would look like. That's what he got. But I ordered this again. Sorry, we did not do an outro at the restaurant. We just got to the car and left. So we are headed home to watch a good movie and call it a night. So 
Thanks everyone, and we will see you all in our next destination.